So there's the calibration reading at the start. Temperature is reading 23.5 and the pH probe is in a pH 7 buffer. Let's rinse the probe. And now we need to position it into the reaction vessel, clamping gently so that we can lower it down into the acid, which we've now done. And you can probably see that by the pH reading. Of course, the trick is to not allow the stirrer bar to interfere with the pH probe, which could be rather catastrophic. So there we have it. OK, we're now ready to start a run. Those are the conditions at time zero. So we need to record readings after every addition of alkali. So that's at zero. Let's add one centimetre cubed of alkali. So there's one centimetre cubed. Here's the second centimetre cubed, that's two. Let the reading stabilise briefly. Now we've got three centimetre cubed. Four centimetre cubed. Five centimetre cubed. Six centimetres cubed. Seven centimetres cubed. Eight centimetres cubed. Nine centimetres cubed. Ten cm cubed. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, some movement in the pH, let's add 0.2 any time if we can. So this is 256 
27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 that's the end of our data accumulation